Good morning, Minecrafters. This is Monday, March 11th. Is it March 11th? It's March 11th, 2024. Welcome back to the stream. We are live here at the um, Viewer Honor Hall. Give me one second. I got to do something real quick. Thank you, folks. I am so sorry about that. It's been a crazy morning. Normally, I start at 10 a.m. Today, it's 11.30. How do you like that one? So, uh, needless to say, it was a crazy morning. I had to... Uh, I know you guys don't want to hear excuses. <laughs> but uh, if you've been following my other... Sh or listening to my earlier streams last week, um, I was talking about I joined the Y, and this morning, my battery... <laughs> It was almost dead on my car, so I went to the Y, got done there about 9.30, went over to the Walmart, got a new bat, had to put it in myself while I was over there, and then uh, got back here, and uh, it was right at 11 o'clock, um, so uh, I had to grab something to eat, and I'm trying to juggle something real quick, and bada bing, we're, here we are. And my apartment complex, they're testing the fire alarm. So you might be hearing a little bit of beep beep in the background. So let me uh, check the volume. Let me, uh, All right, so we're doing good so far. Let's do the national day calendar real quick. Nationaldaycalendar.com. All right, today is Monday, March 11th. It is okay. National 311 Day. Let's find out what that's all about. Founded in 2020 with National Day Calendar and Google.org Fellows and San Jose in collaboration with Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Oakland, and Santa Clara County, uh, it offers an annual reminder that 311 is a resource for, communi for communities around the country to connect with their city and non-emergency services. The 311 system is the non-emergency number to call in many cities across the country for residents to report issues, find out about city services, and ask questions. Pretty cool. I've never used it though, but I know like, <laughs> if you call the police department, it's like, could you please call the non-emergency number? Um, we have National Funeral Director and Martician Recognition Day. Oh my God, okay, there you go. National Funeral Director and Martician Recognition Day on March 11th reminds us to thank the professionals who consider every need during the most challenging time in our lives. I appreciate that, but it doesn't say why it chose today, though. Some of these, that's the one thing, some of these, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't say why today is that national day. And I will forever, in 2008, <laughs> because I talk too much. In 2008, Congress passed a resolution designating March 11th as National Funeral Director and Martician Recognition Day. Well, thank you to all those who do that, because that, uh, that is an occupation that you have to choose to do. But thank God they do it. Um, National Promposal Day. All right. On March 11th, National Promposal Day prompts the ultimate question each year, will you go to prom with me? It's the day for high school students across North America to craft their unique <laughs> invitation to the event of the year. There you go. Um, but the, that's you have the, the first, it um, doesn't say, again, it doesn't say why. Oh, there, there you go. I have to keep looking towards the bottom of the page. Okay, it says in 2016, Men's Warehouse, which is a clothing store for men, founded National Promposal Day on March 11th to inspire high school students to create the ultimate proposal. There you go. Or promposal. Excuse me. Promposal. Mm -hmm. Today is also National Oatmeal Nut Waffles Day. National Oatmeal Nut Waffles Day. National Worship of Tools Day. What's a big day today? National Johnny Appleseed Day. Let's look at that. 
March 11th, on National Johnny Appleseed Day, we remember a man who made apples and pear trees bloom across the nation. The day celebrates a kindly legend who lived by sage teachings and labored to bring the shade of fruit trees across much of the United States. John Chapman. He was born John Chapman on September 26, 1774 in Leo Minster, Massachusetts to Nathaniel and Elizabeth Simons Chapman. Not much is known about his early life other than his mother died when he was two. His father packed up Johnny and his sister and infant brother and died, who had died the previous year and moved to Springfield, Mass. His father served as a Minuteman and fought at Bunker Hill. Then in 1797, Chapman shows up in northwestern Pennsylvania, propagating his apple seeds. He worked his way steadily into the frontier of West Virginia, Ohio, and Indiana. Eventually, Chapman became known as Johnny Appleseed and worked his way as far west as Illinois and Iowa and as far north as Michigan and Wisconsin. In his wake, he left orchards and the teachings of Emanuel Swedenborg, a Swedish spiritual leader, Appleseed would buy his books with whatever payment he might receive for his endeavors. In turn, Johnny would give the books away as he traveled on the planet. Let me go grab some sleep before. <laughs> but that was a long National Day counter today, man. Sorry, guys. Let me get over here. Wow. Hopefully, we don't blow up. I'm on hard mode, so. Uh, everything looks okay. No creepers. All right. Looks good. Wow big national day counter today okay one more thing so it says mostly uh, if my, my uh, phone cooperates here uh, shoot, nice yep one more time okay mostly though he planted his seeds apple seeds that is and seedlings for free uh, along with his wisdom he's his broad brimmed pasteboard hat keeping the sun from his eyes as he went often shoeless he traveled mostly by foot and sometimes by horseback or canoe his appearance was nearly as noteworthy noteworthy as his accomplishments but so was his kindness farmers and frontier folk always found a place at the table if johnny appleseed came visiting there are many stories told that the man would travel many miles to nurse an ailing orchard when word would reach him of his of its poor condition Bringing the trees back to health would, would be his chief endeavor while dispersing wisdom, care, and kindness as he did. Pretty awesome stuff, man. I used to hear about that legend when I was a kid growing up. Johnny Appleseed. So there you go. And I think that's your national day counter for today, folks. We, we, uh, so today, uh, you think about Johnny Appleseed while eating your apples, uh, also worshiping your tools. Now, and eating your national oatmeal nut waffles while doing your prom proposal and thanking your funeral directors and morticians and also calling your 311. So folks, that's your national day calendar for Monday 11th, March 11th, 2024. And I am going to show you, if you read the tweet today, let me check this volume. Testing. Okay, so if you checked the, the uh, tweet I did today, or X, X, X tweet, I don't know, X, the X message, I guess, um, I talked about uh, calibrating, cal uh, skulk calibrating. So let sh let me show you what that's all about. I should have prepared or pre-did this before you guys came or before I started the stream, but as you can see, I'm not really, I'm really behind the clock here today. All right, so... As you see that little blue wave, you see that blue wave? Every time I make a noise, it goes right to that skulk. Okay. Any type of sound, we'll throw that, we'll throw that off. And each sound has, if, if you look right here, let me see here if I can, uh, I guess you can't see it until I put this thing on it. But you notice that little bit of red, redness that comes out of there? You, you're getting a redstone charge out of that. Every sound has a higher charge from zero to 15. So let me show you what I am talking about. And that is why that sensor is sitting here because I want to do, it's called, oh, you know what? Ooh, that was close. 
always pick that up with a silk touch or you'll break it if you break it you get the XP but you won't get the sensor back okay all right so as you can see I didn't clear my inventory last time I was here here we go my boys here are getting ang amb uh, we call it <laughs> anxious Sorry guys, I'll be out of your hair. I gotta really build them a library here. This is really bad. All right, um, we're gonna need some shards, um, amethyst shards, and just luck have it, has it that this base right here has a uh, amethyst node or what do you call those things? D O G a geode, amethyst geode. So we have that here at this base. And that's my supply of amethyst crystals. And when you place that inside, or you connect it with the sculpt sensor, you have a calibrated sculpt sensor. I should have, actually, you know what? We don't have to go to the, ge the geodes back that way. I don't have to, I brought some stuff up here, so I don't need to do that. And this is also, this room is the LA cloning room. And I'm really, you know, I feel bad because they're cute little creatures and they shouldn't be chained up in here. And um, I know you guys, probably every time you saw this in my streams, you probably like, you're diabolical. Um, I've seen some, I don't know how, you know, much about the LA's. Um, and the reason why I have them here is for sorting for my storage areas. Um, and I didn't know any other way to handle these guys because I didn't want to, it was hard finding them. That's why I have them here. Um, so I've seen videos that you could make like almost like an aquarium, a very large um, dome or biome for these guys that you can create where they won't be, <laughs> it's not funny, uh, chained up. So yeah. I gotta get to that, and today's not the day. Sorry. <laughs> They're perfectly fine. They got music. Everything's good. Look, I'll get the music going. They love music. Listen to that. It's good music. All right. Anywho, so you need three shards. You can get these shards from the amethyst cluster, and you get the cluster by growing they grow out of the block of amethyst and once they uh, grow out of the amethyst you take your uh, regular pick and I believe it has to be diamond pickaxe let me just check and let me check the volume all right um, to mine amethyst do you need a diamond pickaxe in Minecraft Amethyst block can be obtained by mining it with a diamond, iron, or netherite pickaxe. Here we go. All right. So once you have, and you can grow these. If you find a geode, uh, there are tutorials on how to farm uh, amethyst blocks and geodes, uh, um, or crystals, I should say. But uh, today I won't be going over that. If you look back at my July, one of my July videos, you'll see me actually mining the amethyst geode uh, that's in here it's in this base but in any case so you take oh i don't have a crafting table here all right let me see i might have one over here mm, yep so you take your see here all right so if you look on the crafting table can i move this no of course not all right uh, if you look on the crafting table to the right or the box area to the right on my screen you place the three like a triangle above the skulk sensor and you get a calibrated skulk sensor so let's go ahead and do that all right and now what you do let me see if i i'm trying to remember where's my redstone um Hmm, I sh trying to remember. I should have some over here. Um, leftover from when I was doing the farm. 
for the mud. Um, oh, and by the way, when I finished the stream on Friday, I did look in my uh, my files, and I did find a Bravo, or I should say Bravo, the, the copy for this world. And guess what? It was a good copy. <laughs> so it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Not you know, it is what it is. But anywho, so uh, redstone. Um, hmm. Did I take the redstone with me? Obviously. Okay, one of these other redstone. Not snow. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go over to. <laughs> we're gonna go over to the super smelter. Might have some redstone over there. If not, the flying ship will have it. I'm just trying to show you guys how this thing works. How the uh, skulk sensor works. So this is my super smelter. Uh, that mud farm is. I'm turning that into terracotta, and we're gonna do the walls, the all the interior here with terracotta walls red uh, oak floors and oak ceilings and we're going to do the uh, decorate this to probably have a probably have a platform in there too All right. um, redstone for God have mercy on my soul alright uh, let me see here what's in here again hmm all right, is that just snow? Yeah, let's put that here. Um, let's put that there, let's put that snowball in here. I don't wanna turn this on, well I guess, yeah I guess I could turn that on. By the time we get back it should be, you know, we'll let it do its thing. Hopefully it'll be running when we get back. It's probably my flying machine. Or uh, not flying machine. Um, flying ship. Flying ship. You know, while I'm here, let me check to see how much terracotta we got from Friday. Let's see. You take your mud, you throw it in your smelter, and um, you get your terracotta. Ooh. Uh, one, two, three, four. Almost five stacks. Mm hmm. I was really hoping to do some of the walls today. All right, um, we are going to the surface. We're going to go to the ship, and I can show you guys dem do a demonstration of what the calibrated skulk sensor does. Now I kind of forgot that this was with this update uh, last June, and I got away from it. And I've watched a lot of tutorials before the update of how the thing worked, and since I haven't dealt with it since then, I totally forgot. So over the weekend, I saw a few tutorials on calibrated skulk sensors, and I totally forgot. That's how you know how these things work. So let me show you. Hopefully, there's redstone up here, and I can show you how these. Look how big that ship's getting. Enormous. Let's look at the. Look at that. Look at that. Is that see that side of the ship I'm gonna put on, on the blimp the side of the blimp I'm gonna put a big gigantic clock a gigantic clock on the side well probably on both sides of the ship that would be cool that's what the skulk sensors are for or a calibrated skulk sensor I should say did I yeah I must have picked the bed up yeah my bed's not here Check the audio again. Check the audio again. Nice. Alright. Um, redstone. It should be down here. Let's see. Uh, all the way down. It should be down inside. Of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, Lord. Please. Let me, okay, Elytra, fireworks, Elytra, Elytra. Ooh, look at that, I have more skulk sensors, cool. Obsidian, 
I don't think it's in there. Are you telling me I used all that redstone? Maybe it's up top. Maybe it's in here. Oh man, my brain. Darn it. Where did I put all that redstone? I had a few things. Hmm. I don't think they're in here. Alright. I just can't remember exactly what I was doing on Friday. Shoot. I knew it was here for sure. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Where else did I go on Friday? Oh, the skeleton farm. Right. Okay. Let's take a ride down. If you haven't been here before, this is my steampunk flying ship by the Enigma Man on YouTube. You see the big gap ahead on top of me and the one on the other side? I'm going to put a lot of iron farms in there. And trading villages possibly too. Try to utilize that space. This uh, cave down in here, I have a zombie spawner down in there. That's where I get my villagers from. Yeah, I think that's where my redstone's at. It's over there in the skeleton farm, possibly. Here we go. I don't think it's at the raid farm. So I haven't been in that raid farm for over a week, I think. Sorry about this, guys. I, you should Usually I'm up on my stuff, but got so much stuff going on where I live at here and kind of forget. Oh, paying attention. Oh. But that's the whole idea with the skulk sensor. So if you go to Skippy6 on YouTube, he'll show you how to make a Minecraft clock. And I'm not talking about this one here in the center here, the yellow, that one I'm holding, not that one. You can actually make almost like a, you know, like an alarm clock almost. These type of like square clocks, but you use redstone lamps to light up the hour. There's no hands on it, but the, the redstone lamps will light up at the designated hour. You make it into a circle. Problem is, it works great when it's small, like what Skippy Six shows. But when you build it the size of that, like that blimp, let's say, in order to light up all that redstone lamps, you're going to need a lot of like torches and uh, repeaters and all this other stuff. Well, with a skulk sensor, you don't have to do that. There's not a lot of wiring. It's wireless redstone with skulk calibrated skulk. Yeah, calibrated skulk sensors. It's it's wireless redstone. It's fantastic. And I'm going to show you how that works. Oh, where did I put the redstone? For holy moly. Man, come on. Where did I put it? All I remember Friday was skeleton farm, snow, the mud, like we did all week, pretty much. Ah, oh, come on. Did I go to the... I don't remember if. Hmm. I don't remember going to the red farm on Friday. Hmm. Because I had a lot of redstone. Unless I used it all. Didn't I buy more redstone? Oh, my brain. Okay, it could be two places. <laughs> It's either at the raid farm or it's at Aquatica. Could have been there. I could have went there on Friday. See, if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing, I leave stuff behind. All right. Um, it's hard to try to figure out which the worst of two evils, which one's quicker to go to. Um, where we're at right here is like the halfway halfway point between both of them. Let's go over to the storage facility real quick. It might be over there. And again, this is my honor hall for all the viewers that I see their names listed. You will get a uh, statue here. 
and it doesn't cost to be a viewer of mine or a subscriber or a follower you just go ahead and click it click the button and bada bing you get the notifications when I'm online you get all kinds of good stuff so check it out this is my chicken cooker holy moly why is my chicken what why is my chicken not going down Oh, what the heck? Um, something's not right. That's not right. Um, I can't, yeah. Can I pop this? Because I don't want them getting out. No, they, yeah, they'll get out. Shoot. All kinds of neat stuff happening today, huh? What did I just pop? Oh, Lord. Okay. Why is this backed up? Holy moly, why is this all backed up, man? What the heck? Um, one of these for, right, there's the one for chicken. This one, no, that should have been for feathers. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. How did eggs get in there? My Xbox has been doing some stuff lately. Let me tell you folks, that's what I'm playing on. Holy mackerel. pop this in here this should all go down to about 41 okay he's making a liar out of me what's holding it up what's in here oh boy why is it not, not going down is that because it's going the wrong way what the heck maybe because it's not facing the right way Hmm. Well, there's gonna be a lot of feathers when I break this thing. All right. So I guess I have to face it down, maybe. I don't know what's going on. Jeez. I'm over encumbered. But you know something? It's kind of. Oh, there we go. I went down. How about this? Oh boy, because I'm off. My all my feathers are backed up. I got a lot of chicken in there, man. All right, we're all good. These eggs messed me up. There you go. It should be about 41 items in there, and that it's a locking mechanism, so only those particular items go in here. Uh, right. I guess because that's activated. I don't know. It look, that all looks right. We'll come back and check on this. I did a lot of syncing on uh, last week before last Friday's stream, and uh, syncing my worlds. A lot of weird things have happened. When you play on your Xbox or Microsoft, anytime. The game does saves, it goes up into the cloud, and when it gets out of sync with your device that you're playing on, you have to resync everything. And when you do that, certain things go weird. Hopefully, you, you try to, when it goes weird, <laughs> you don't want it to get too weird. Sometimes it happens, you can't avoid it, but. It's the nature of the beast, but I love this game. I don't care. I love it. I love it. I love it. That might be my redstone. Nope. Man. 
Okay, we can, we've been to the skeleton farm. All right, we'll go to the raid farm. And then we can go check out um, Aquatica. Well, you guys getting the tour today. You're getting a five cent tour. All right. Oh, let me put these, before I go anywhere, let me put those blocks back. I think my, hopefully my villagers won't go down inside. <laughs> down inside that hole. So uh, let me do that, put past this on to you too. So the other thing that was going on, don't mind my foxes here, it was uh, I, I, I should be doing my art, my days off from Minecraft, I should be doing my art, but I haven't. So I went back to my original world to go messing with that and um, same thing with the clock thing that I'm doing here. Um, I that's where I got the idea for the clock in the first place and um, so I went into I need, I need the skulk sensors I never really found hey guys this is uh, Gordon the fisherman <laughs> this is Gordon Ramsey but it's called Gordo 2 this is Norm from Cheers and Hiawatha he's grabbing a little Z um, also before I forget also so wolves which are now dogs wolves Minecraft has just updated in the betas um, new new dogs new wolves so if you go to Google go to Google or Minecraft and look up new Minecraft wolves you'll see a whole list of different colored wolves so they're not going to be all white everywhere you go they'll have dark ones spotted ones all kinds of ones so check it out on Google or Minecraft, the website, and you'll see a whole list of uh, different types of wolves coming up in the next update, which will be probably in this June, the first week of June coming up. Um, all right, I talked about that. I talked about, oh, so I needed skulk sensors in my world. I never went to an ancient city in my original world since the update. So uh, over the weekend, that's what I did. I found out my ancient city in my original world and... Um, I don't know, something's telling me it might be over here. Let me just check real quick. Uh, and I uh, found my ancient city, my original world, and um, thank God I didn't run as, into many problems as I did, <laughs> did in this world. And um, it's, it's going pretty well. And the interesting thing is, a lot of times, because my original world, I started that back on... Uh, October 2019 and um, it's been around for a while I've been through a few updates and uh, I the thing of it is when there's whenever there's a new update where the new stuff goes is areas in your world that you haven't explored and I explored quite a bit before some of these updates so I have to go beyond where I've been to find the new stuff that's been updated and uh, thank God uh, for whatever reason, there's one spot that I just checked out before the update um, wasn't fully mapped out, and there was an ancient city right there. I found it by using chunk base. Let me just check the audio. Yeah, so I found it by if you go to chunkbase.com, uh, you can find whatever you're looking for in your world by adding your seed. Um, your world seed there's my frog uh, adding your world seed and then telling the uh, filter what you're looking for and I was looking for ancient cities and it gave me the coordinates unfortunately I don't know why I wrote it down backwards the coordinates so you can imagine it was a long day Saturday <laughs> um, but in any case, I got it all set up. I set up a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, bubble elevators to go back and forth because it's on the very bottom of the world, which is negative 64. Actually, um, the, what do you call that? The ancient cities, they usually start between negative 40 and negative 50 between those two spots. And that's where you'll find your ancient cities. And be careful when you go down there because they're gonna be skulk sensors and um, the skulk sensors um, 
will eventually tell skulk screechers which will is the alarm for the warden once that warden comes you're that's that, it's over game's over but um yeah it wasn't too bad uh, where i i punched a hole down into the city and using a water column and when i got down in there i was right by the ancient portal so it wasn't too bad What else was going on? And again, um, it's in that map, that last map I did of the world, so it wasn't too bad. And I got to use that map. I didn't have to map out a new world, uh, a new map. And um, yeah, so it worked out pretty well. Can't complain. It's fun to be back in that world again. I haven't played that world uh, since I showed you guys on December. And before that, I haven't been in there since before the update, which was in May or yeah, the end of May. The last time I really was working on that world. So, if you guys, if you, uh, I'll be posting this video up after um, we're done the stream, and uh, put, let, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a tour of my original world, so you can you guys can see what I've done in that world. Just let me know in the comments what you think. All right, this is the raid farm, and I'm checking to see if I left my redstone stuff here. If it's not here, it could be at Aquatica, which is my uh, iron farm. If you and if you go to my community tab on my YouTube channel, you'll find a download to my world and Aquatica. I that's the only build I put in the copy of this world is Aquatica. So you and the entrance into the Nether, uh, another hub, so you can actually play along with um, what I'm doing here by downloading that world. It's not a server, it's just a, it's a world map that you can download onto your console or PC, and uh, yeah. What the heck? He must have... What the heck? He must have came in through... Uh, what you call it? Um, where the, where the uh, pillagers come in. That poor wolf must have came through there. Well, I guess my redstone is at Aquatica this uh, this raid farm is actually really close to my stronghold believe it or not down inside there down there out that way wait a minute um, no no I'm bad over here I'm so backwards um, in case you can't see it same thing that cavern that's over there, there's another cavern beyond there, and out that way is the stronghold, and which is the entrance to the end, end dimension. Usually, there, what I've been finding is that they're actually in a village. They're usually within a village or under a village, the stronghold that I've been finding in my worlds. And I play on bedrock edition, so just a tip for you. And again, you can go to chunkbase.com and say hey I'm looking for it uh, my stronghold can you find where is it located and it'll help you out um, before I leave here let me just take a look at this platform maybe it might be up here all of this just so I can show you guys how calibrated skulk sensor works all right uh, oh don't hurt me dude uh, he's not a uh, captain or commander whatever you call that the guy with the uh, banner and that's the guy if you kill him you get the bad omen effect which starts the raid you might not be seeing villagers around here but there is one at the very top of this scaffolding all the way at the top here this used to be a pillager tower or fort and you can convert it into a red farm. Yeah, there's no redstone here. It should be in a, in a um, sugar box. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I don't know if it's Friday or Thursday. I lost, you know, I wasn't paying attention. To <laughs> Our friends, the, uh, the pillagers, spawned right on the platform, my FK spot wasn't paying attention and they did me in. Lost a lot of stuff on that day too. 
I got some stuff back. That's why I went to Aquatica to get my some of my armor back. I never get this timing down. There we go. I was kind of hoping it might be up here somewhere, but I guess not. All right, we're going to Aquatica, guys. All righty. All those uh, pathways that go back to uh, the world spawn. So there was part of that village, which is with that stronghold, was up here, and some of it was down below over there. Uh, out that way. Oh, wait a minute. Out that way. That was the cavern area I was telling you about. There's our friend, the commander, but... Yeah, you can rire all day long. I ain't, I ain't doing that today, dude. You can come on down here if you want, man. <laughs> all right. Um, so we're going to Aquatica. Wouldn't that be a be a bugger if I just like I don't have any stuff left? It's gone, all of it. <laughs> we're gonna find out.
testing. 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 Sorry about that, guys. I uh, have my headset plugged into my um, Xbox controller, and every once in a while I get feedback, and I really apologize. I try to listen for it. That's why you hear me saying checking volume all the time. And it just it does. It has a mind of its own. It does what it does, man. So I apologize, and we are back in the game. So, if you're wondering what I'm doing now, um, even Freckles wants to know. Uh, the diamond hood doesn't have mending on it. And before, and I might have to buy some redstone since I'm here already. And, um, yeah, I think I can just, but the thing, you know what, the crazy thing of it is, you know, it could. You know, one place I didn't check was over at the Masons, the Masons uh, workshop down there in Iron Forge. I didn't check that spot, that room. Um, but since I'm here, that's what Freckles try to whisper in my ear. What? <laughs> um, I'll buy some redstone, maybe a mending book. Fix my who. And that way I can um, patch up that crop area of carrots. It's got a couple of uh, bald spots. Gotta fix that up. I had got, I don't know when I got this hoe. I don't know if it was last week or so when I lost some gear. And, um, oh, you know what? I think I might have bought this hoe. And, uh, just never got the mending. I forgot. Well, I think I forgot to put the mending on it. Mending book. All right, and my mending dude. Hello, big guy. Um, I think that's my mending guy. And you can heal up stuff while you're doing when you're trading too. So I th think that's my mending. Oh come on, man, really? Yep. Boom. All right. Did that. And. Gonna need some redstone. This is my man who sells the redstone. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, my helmet. That needs to be mended. And of course the hoe and the shovel. Ooh, I know you're hearing the cat thing. Uh, I apologize. Um, the one bad side effect of an iron farm cat spawn as well as the iron golems and it, it to me it would be preferable not to harm not to harm the cats but if you don't get rid of the excess cats the iron golems won't spawn and that's the one bad effect of an iron farm but you get string and um, you know and I try to save as many as I can and populate my world with the pet cats but I'm sorry <laughs> it's just it's just one of the so bad side effects of a iron farm is they, they spawn cats too all right so we're gonna put let me see um, the mending it's only two XP we're gonna put the um, unbreaking that gives us a little bit more stability. And there we go with that. Efficiency would be good too, but I don't want to delay you guys anymore. Looking for that. It's it's in here. I gotta label these things so I know which books is where. Um redstone. Let's go get some redstone. We'll take the redstone back with us to the world spawn. And I'm gonna check the Mason's room. Maybe the Masons have my because I have quartz I have um, what do you call that quartz crystal from uh, the nether that you need for redstone builds and that was also in that shulker I hope I didn't lose the shulker man I just hope I didn't because I had all my redstone stuff in there uh, but, but, but let's repair these real quick Oh, I, you know what? I gotta plant carrots there. Shoot. Oh, he'll do it. 
There he goes. And I'm missing a pumpkin plant. I wonder if I have any extra pumpkin. So I had melon and pumpkin there. Sorry, dude. Didn't mean to. Oh boy. Okay. We'll go over here. Nope. That's beets. I gotta look up. I gotta find my pumpkin. Son of a gun. Alright, sir. I need some of your fine redstone products. As soon as that shovel is cured, we're gonna move better over to the hoe. Be careful, yeah, be careful going too fast, you'll go right. There we go. Because you want to make sure you use all that delicious XP. Right, that's it. Alright, thank you, sir. And we're good to go. Alright, folks, we are now heading back to World Spawn. Didn't want to take. I might as well take these books with me too. Why not? And since we didn't use the gold farm, we can go through this portal here. One of these days I will be tweaked. This is my um, trident farm. All the drowned come up here. I gotta make it so they can be pushed all the way around into my trident killer right over here. What's that fish doing out of water, man? Just put him back. And away we go. I forgot I was at the Ocean Monument too. By the way, if you saw the uh, the cactus, that's for breaking the boat up. If you place a sign n like near that cactus, when it grows up, it'll break. So you can have technically a miniature cactus farm. If you place the hopper and chest right near it, I gotta give these guys names. I was kind of hoping I had maybe left that chest or that. Sh uh, shulker box over here, but I don't think I did. Alright. No problem. This is just stuff I had left over when I was building this place. Some redstone. I should name this guy. What are we going to... I don't know if all these guys have names or no. Percy, there's per oh, he was our very first villager for here. Yeah, none of these guys have names. Hmm. Tell me in the comments what you guys want me to name these guys. If not, next time I'm back out here, I'll name them. I know I got some. I just saw the. Yeah, there's two tags there. There's four there. I could name them right now. I just my brain right now I'm just I'm sorry guys I'm just tired I don't know <laughs> I'll think about it let me think about it I'll think about it what I used to do too is um, I would put a book and quill down in each village to record all the names so it would be like a census of the village all right I don't think my redstone's over here oh must be nighttime yeah I don't see this is also my um, Guardian farm. All right. Good thing I didn't forget my bed. 
I should take that, <coughs> that redstone just in case. These guys always go a bit like a half hour to an hour before sunset, which is only a few minutes <laughs> in the real world. Uh, come on. You may not rest now. There are. Oh, great. Yeah. The guardians are close by. I can't. I haven't I haven't dried the whole place out yet. Once I dry the place up, then the guardians only spawn where I want them to spawn. All right. Um, let me take. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Take these and um, we'll be back. That's kind of uh, disappointing, but it's okay. So this village here is really close to my world spawn. It's one of the first villages I ever found in this world. Um, somehow something told me to check this for whatever reason. That redstone shulker might be over here. Just doing a quick once over to see if I left it here maybe. Hmm. Ah, see my boys. All right. No. Ooh, hello, big man. Look at you. Look at you with that big schnage. Yeah, these guys need names too. All right. I guess we are definitely going back to the world spawn. <laughs> really feel like going through every one of these buildings. My brain, sometimes I'm pretty good. I remember what I've done and there's other times I get caught up doing what I'm doing and I just don't remember. I get sidetracked. I try to keep, because I'm 56 now, I'm getting older, but I try to keep my brain like challenged playing games like this or puzzles or learning a new language anything to keep the memory uh, whatever you call those neurons or whatever in the brain keeping them exercised so that way dementia and memory well at least memory stays intact and hopefully you can delay dementia for as long as possible all right so yeah I don't remember going anywhere else uh, my big man um, 
The reason why the frog's there, he goes after magma cubes and then he produces frog lights. So, um, funny thing is, ever since I put him in there, there hasn't been any magma cubes. So, that aspect's been, he's kind of like a guard dog. Um, let's check the mason's area. I really hate to have to go into the nether and get the uh, quartz crystal. But, you know, um, I really don't need it right away. The quartz crystal is usually for repeaters. I don't know if it's for repeaters or comparators. One of the two, you need the quartz crystal. And it's for building, you can make um, quartz blocks which are these white blocks are gorgeous but then I found out you can use snow everywhere even in another so why even bother just just create snow and speaking of snow that machine's been running that this entire time so hopefully that's not broken yeah I think I've lost my redstone and my mind but don't tell nobody yeah I lost that, wherever that, it's somewhere. So, uh, one day I'm going to be surprised and say, hey, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, well. I have lost that redstone. Shocker. None of these have it. Elytra, Elytra, fireworks. Yep. See, it'd be listed if it was in here. I really don't think it's in here, but I will look. Nope. Darn it. I don't think I... See, the other problem is, too, because my controller is not really... F I'm playing on Wi-Fi, so that might be an issue, too. It's not... The game doesn't respond fast enough. It's like there's a little bit of a lag. And... Um, I could have broken the shulker without picking it up, thinking that I've picked it up and never picked it up. That, that's possible too. I don't think I was down in that wood farm. It might be down there too. That's another spot. It could be down in there. We can. Uh, let me turn off this snow farm real quick before I forget. And this thing's that thing's been running forever. I just can't believe I lost that redstone. Because I had... There's quartz crystals and everything in there. Yeah, that's all I got. There's nothing. How are these things doing? Yeah, it's all good. Tell you what, before we go, let's gather up the snow. Because this will despawn if I don't grab it quick. That just, oh, you don't know how much that irks me. See, that's what the game teaches me to let go. You know, just let it go. Speaking of snow, let it go. Just let it go. Oops. Ah, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I was over there with those trees. It's possible it could be over there too. That's a possibility. Well, somebody wants me going to the end for whatever reason. But like I said, I'm not. I don't really need. Cause I don't have any. I'm not. I'm not doing any uh, repeaters or comparators today. Once I do need those, I will have to get the quartz crystal. You can find that quartz crystal in the nether. Also, if you trade with the piglins, piglins, if you get a piglin trading farm, you'll get, they'll trade you quartz crystal. That's a good thing too from the piglin trading. Yeah, I gotta, you know what? I actually have to set a piglin trading farm up. I really need to do that. The idea is once you set up that farm, you can set up storage. So everything you trade with the piglins goes right into storage. That's a that's a good setup. It's a good, oh man, I didn't. I should have left those carrots behind. So anyway, hope you guys had a good weekend. Welcome to Monday. We're already at March 11th.
moving along. I know the clocks have uh, been pushed ahead, so we're losing an hour of sleep, but you know, it is what it is. And then our days are going to get longer, and all kinds of good stuff's happening. I think 21st of March is the spring solstice, and then June 21st will be the longest day of the year. And we'll be heading back towards winter again, or fall anyway. <laughs> you think I got enough snow? Never have enough snow, right? Is this game playing with me? What the heck? There we go. I'm going to mute this guys until I get all the snow out of here. So I was just thinking about it. Might as well go down into the wood farm. Check down there too. If it's down in there. Oh, you know what? Let me shut these off because I'm not I'm not using it right now. Alright. Here's the wood farm. See if we can fly that. Oh, can I just? Nope. Nice. You're not playing Minecraft, Minecraft, unless you hear that smack, smack any smack. Uh, put the bone in there. Yep. There's no redstone over here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. You got me. I have no clue where that stuff went to. It's not over the Masons, we're just over there, so it's not there. I am clueless. More than most at this point. Uh, it's going to pop up somewhere. I don't think it's up here. I don't think I dropped it anywhere. It could be, you know, if I hit it the right way it could be in one of these furnaces possibly too hmm well ha my cart When I see lava sitting in the hopper, just making sure nothing jammed inside that furnace that shouldn't be there. The reason why I'm looking over here, this is the first area that the minecarts drop stuff off at. So if something would fall, it would usually be falling in here. Unless um, I dropped it on the other side, but man, that just really just urged me.
I'm curious. Um, I got that mine cart. I wonder if both mine carts are over here. Okay. Yep, we're all good. I'll put that extra one in here. Sometimes they get, you know, I break stuff or whatever and I lose track of it. Let me, so I fill this thing in. That drive, this drive me nuts right here. And if you're saying to yourself, hey, didn't you put terracotta? <laughs> didn't you put terracotta on those walls? Yeah, uh, like I, I don't know if you heard earlier in the stream that I did some sinking with the cloud in the previous saves I've done. Yeah, they messed up one of my saves. So, um, let's gather up the snow. I guess I can show you up top. Oh, I'm going to mute this too until I get all the snow out of here. And then we'll use the snow for the blimp. Uh, I'm going to mute this for a little bit and we'll be back.
there's my quartz, uh, quartz crystal. If you heard me earlier crying about it, there it is. So I got everything. Everything's good. No problem. No worries. We can just go ahead and back up top and start putting our snow down up on that blimp. I'm going to add uh, these mutton to the uh, furnaces because that's what furnaces do. Um, this don't look right, but I'm assuming it's okay. We're going to find out. Okay, the, oh, there's one. I knew the one's going to get stuck. Okay, as long as that stuff goes back up and top, we're good. Okay, they're locked in. Good. We're all good. Is there anything else? I'm st Let me check these shulkers shulkers and skulkers think of that all right anything good in there Did I, oh yeah the sponges so I got 64 and 47 hopefully I'll get 64 <laughs> 64 and 47 back if not they'll be stuck in the furnaces somewhere but there's two ways of drying your wet sponges either go into the nether Lay them down, bring them, and then break them, bring them back, or let the furnaces dry them out. That's the two ways of drying out sponges. And I'm the reason why I keep getting pushed because I'm standing on that piston. There we go, 64 and, 20, and 27, I think it was. All right, and was there anything else? Do I need? I think those slimes have to go back over to the mason's place. Redstone. I'm going to hold on to that red. Oh, clay. And I'm going to need some lava. And break that. I'm going to put the wood here. I should take it down below, but you know, it is what it is. All right. Um, going to need some lava. Check the buckets up top. Are there any buckets in here? Yeah. Okay. It's so weird how the buckets go over here. I think I did that. Alright. And you check the item chest and make sure there's nothing no more buckets left in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, we gotta put these in here. Got it break. Now you can actually uh, send the whole block of iron ore in there like that, but if you have a fortune pickaxe, you get more dropped, I believe, versus just a single block. Okay, so instead of having two blocks, you get five iron ore. Okay, let's put that in here. And we're going to get our lava. And hopefully it gets too crazy today we will actually I'll show you the a demonstration of calibrated skulk sensor oh leave these poppies here that way I can dye the terracotta another day when I'm, when I'm ready to do it all right let's get the buckets get our lava we're gonna have to put some more of the we're gonna have to start laying all that out with the dripstone and the lava and all that good stuff because we're going to need a lot more uh, cauldrons of lava
All right, guys. So let me show you how this works. Now I'm trying. I'm basing this on what I watched last night. So um, I want to do the best I can from what I remember. So what you do? Get your redstone. We're gonna to need to make a block. Uh, shoot, I need a multiple. Um, I need a few of these. I forgot. I mean, I could use the one. Yeah, I mean, I could get up and buy without it, but. Eh. You guys wanted the full tour, not just the. Let me see what I can do here. I gotta start setting up like hatchways and stuff to get through this place better. Um, but 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 uh, I think in this chest up here in the uh, librarians work area workshop they got uh, some I mean am I losing my mind I swore I saw a mess of where did I see all those shoulders or s skulk sensors where did I see those was it down below oh my god I'm losing my mind hmm I could have sworn they were just in here. Oh, now they're all mixed up. All right, let's see. Snow, no. Sand snow, no, that's not mine. Book Emerald, that's ours. All right, and lean up. I, didn't I see something with like eight skulk sensors? I think it's down below. <laughs> it might be down in that smelter room. But, nah, let's go back down, why not?
let me just check before I uh, get rid of all these uh, shards here. Let me see how to farm this. How to farm amethyst shards. To harvest all you need to do is swim down to the geode and harvest all the mature amethyst clusters. The drops will float to the surface. Um, you can't grow amethyst crystals by yourself in Minecraft. Amethyst crystals will only grow out of amethyst buds, which only spawn in geodes. They can be found underground or even in water spawning. Naturally, there you will find multiple different sizes or even full grown. So, yeah, I forgot about that. The amethyst buds, they are the blocks. Kind of like, um, let me, let me go check the geode. There, if you've ever been to the end and you've seen those chorus fruit trees and you want the chorus fruit flower, one of those blocks actually has looks like a flower on the block. That's what a amethyst cluster thing looks like. Oh, I forgot what that word was. <laughs> my brain. I'm so burnt at this time, man. I swear, my brain, I mean. Um, yeah, this is all dried. I don't think I left the chest behind. Oh, yeah, I did. Hmm. Gotta pick up all this stuff. I used to have my, um, what level is this? This is level 16. I had the glow squid farm out here. And the funny thing is, they used to spawn out here. The other one I'm using might be a little deeper. I'm going to mute this to my dog's done uh, saying hi. So as I was exploring this cave, and that area up there goes up to the oh great beautiful yep and uh, that hole up here that goes up to the zombie spawner alright this is not as well lit as I would like it to be <laughs> All right. I've never seen an Xbox controller that you got to wrestle, man. Never seen that in my life. But hey, first for everything. So this area down here is not only uh, a geode, but also my obsidian. It's like an obsidian farm down here. Um, I thought I had a gate. Yeah, I think there's a gate right here. Ooh, wow. I haven't been here in a long time. Look at this. See here? See this block? See how it has that X? That's uh, one of those uh, clusters. And that's how the... Uh, wait a minute. No. A node? I guess that's a node. Oh, shoot. Let me just look it up. <laughs> God. Uh, let me see here. Um, Alright. Uh, you can't grow amethyst crystals by yourself in Minecraft. Amethyst crystals will only grow out of amethyst buds. So that's a bud right there with a cross. You can get a block. See, what I did was I, I farmed all the blocks out of here. Anything that wasn't a what a bud, amethyst bud, yeah. Anything that wasn't this block, which is an amethyst bud, I took out of here. So this whole thing was all purple once, all of this. So I took all of that out. 
so that this would grow faster, the uh, crystal clusters could grow faster. And then you mine the clusters with the pickaxe, with fortune pickaxe, and you'll get your crystals. Now these crystals are not just for uh, calibrated skulk sensor, it's also for making telescopes. If you want to make tele I have to show you how to make a telescope too. But there you go. So, yeah, and I haven't been here in a while, and I think it's, let me see how long it says for these to grow. In Minecraft, how long does amethyst grow? A block of budding amethyst has a 20% chance every random game tick to produce a small amethyst bud. If there's a free slot on a side, however, amethyst buds themselves take about seven Minecraft days to mature. So about seven Minecraft days. And it's about 20% every random game tick. If you can figure that one out. But uh, it's been a while since I've, far I've been in here. So here we go. We can take all this over to the... Um, whatchamacallit? Oh, you know what? Uh, no, this is fine. I was going to say... I would, uh, no, no, no. This is fine. All right. If you look up on YouTube how to make an amethyst farm, a lot of guys what they'll do is they'll put water on the at the bottom here at the base and let it flow into uh, hoppers so that when you uh, pick these things, um, they'll fall right into there. See, see, unless they're mature, don't pick them because um, you won't get any crystals out of it. When they're fully extended out, that's when you get the crystals, like this one. Let me see. I have it. Let me see. Nope, say they gotta be fully out all the way out. That's not all the way out. That's not that is when it's fully out like that. Then you get your crystals. This might not bud. There's a couple of stages to it. So don't break these blocks. The blocks that have the X on it, don't break them. That's where they grow from. The other blocks that are solid, purple with no X on it. Yeah, you can break those. Don't break the ones with the X's. That's how you get your... That's where they grow from, is those. And, um... If there's anything alongside of them, they don't tend to grow that fast. So try to... Uh, clean it up as much as you can, when you can. Um... Okay, there we go. You have to make your own call, judgment call, on when to pick them or not. Because, see, like that thing there, because that's blocking it. Let me see. Okay. Nice. There we go. How many are we getting, man? Oh, man, almost a stack. That's good. The stack's usually 64. Looking good. Hmm. So when you try to pick it, see those little black lines? Try to get it when you... That's a bounding box. And um, for developers, they call them bounding boxes. Um, that's how the game designates uh, when uh, two things interact is when those lines cross. Might as well. Um, let me see here. Hmm. Well... Hard to judge which ones are mature and one are, which ones are not. I guess you do it enough, you'll, you'll figure it out, I suppose. Yeah, I might as well grab my uh, Azuli Lapis Azuli. I've heard, like I said, I've heard it where they're not called Lapis Azuli. It's like Lap, uh, lapis Azuli or something like this but I call it Lapis Azuli I like the sound of that name 
All right. Um, well, I guess I use this one to store all the stuff in. Jeez. Is that all of it? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen some guys farms for these geos. Pretty cool. Like you can put water in here so that way you can swim up to these without using scaffolding and all that good stuff. Be careful not to pick into those blocks. If you pick those blocks, I think that's it. They gotta stay they gotta remain within the geode. Just be very careful when you pick. Tell if it's younger. Yeah, see, that was young. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a big one. done got all of our shards put them in here and then we're going to make up some calibrated sensors and uh, I'm, I'm going to take this one yeah they need room the shards in here need room to grow or the clusters need room to grow so try to make sure that uh, they got gaps all around Good for a while. If I make copper, I'll show you guys how to do the. I think you're gonna need glass, copper, wood, and um, uh, amethyst uh, crystal or shard. Pop that stone back in there. All right, I guess we're done. Let's see. I should I must take some of this stuff back too. Did I get 
figure out what I'm going to do with this stuff. Oh, I think I was using it for the furnace. This bows. to the uh, flying ship and then uh, I can show you how these um, calibrate sensors work but we only have nine so <laughs> 15 you know your maximum of 15 like like most redstone circuits or wiring is about 15 blocks long let's fly back I should have a crafting table up on the ship so I don't have to worry about this stuff. Oops. place up man it needs to be sorted better Okay, so how this works, um, this guy here is a little bit more daylight. You take your sensors like that, let's see, hmm, I guess right there I suppose, that little block, that little square right there where my crosshairs is at, that's where the redstone goes in. Okay, uh, you take your redstone, connect them, okay, and then you power it with a block, redstone block, <laughs> my controller, it's not really the controller's fault man, it's somehow my Xbox is just lagging, I don't, I don't understand, okay, see how it's all lit up? Once it gets down to 15, it'll be like not even lit. So, all right. So if I see how I'm moving, it's not before. If I let me knock this one out. Now, if I move, it senses it off, right? But if it's being powered, that's not the particular uh, sound. 
Now one of the sounds is if you put armor on, not taking it off, but if you put it on it should trigger. Come on man. I think it might be the 15 one. Yeah. Alright. So let's see here. If I actually <laughs> one two it should be nine, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's my other one? Didn't I have another one? I guess it hmm. Where the heck is it? There it is. Alright. So now it's nine. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, hmm, I'm going to have to go further back, or I could turn it, but it, that's not, yeah, it's got to be lined all together, as far as I, ooh, i got to be careful, make sure I have to pick, uh, silk touch, I'll lose this, yeah. Ways instead of sideways. The other thing I should do too is so this way you guys can see how it's being triggered, but you'll see it actually wave. And then the output, you, you can get output from it. All right, let's go sideways here then. All right, so we're going to go one. All these will be nine. Okay, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my dear God. <laughs> I can't win for trying, man. They got to be lined up all the way lengthwise. I mean, for now. I mean, there must be a way of getting around that, but 15 blocks linked, you know? So if I made a bend around the corner, that would be technically another addition to the 15. bed down to it's getting nighttime. All right, one more time. So we get out of the way of everything. Okay, clear shot. Holy for your ladies. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Do these all the way down. Okay, and then, boom. So if I, let's say, be down to zero. Put that there. You'll notice it's. See, if I make a movement, it's going to set it off. But if I go over here, and you can set it in a distance too, like you could take another calibrated skulk sensor, put it on another shard, a block, amethyst block, and send it out that way, and you can have that go out like an infinite. But the thing of it is, like Minecraft, because of chunks, I think you're limited by 16 or something like that. 16 blocks because of the chunks. Once you're out of a chunk, it's, it's deactivated. So it might be different for Java or servers, but in Bedrock, I think that's uh, that's a thing. All right, so now if I take 
the this off. Put that on. Alright, um uh, let's see if I can get a snowball. I saw a guy do it with a snowball. There it is. The fifteenth one likes the sound of snowballs. It's it's a charge of fifteen. Let me see if I go down here. See? And notice that little uh, blue wave? Oh, see, if I break a block, watch. So uh, 15, 14, 13, the 12th will go off. So if you break a block, that it's a 12 power, 12 block redstone power. And if you throw it, it's the 15th one. So I can activate anything on the 15th one by making a snowball hitting something sound. Um, I can activate the 12th one if I break a block. And then uh, just walking or any random sound, I think it's just walking, sets that off. And the helmet, I just don't remember which one was the helmet. Let me see. Let's move this one cl closer and see what happens. Remember, silk touch when you break these so you don't lose it. Alright, let's move it to number two. It's called science, right? There we go. Oh, you notice when I put that down, it sent a signal over there. So setting a block down sets off one of them. The 15th, 13th one is if you set a block down. Fifteenth, yeah, thirteenth one. If I break snow, that's the twelfth. If I lay down a block, it's the thirteenth. And if I throw snow, it's the fifteenth. Even if I threw it over there, watch. Okay. And we were still trying to figure out. So even if you see, because the signal's not that strong. Just walking still sets that off. This is the second position. Try the third. All right. You see. Nope, that's not it. I don't know what's what sound. If you go to if you Google it, I'm sure they have a list of sounds for the redstone power. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, so if I take a piece of armor off, it sets it off. There you go. Right? But I, if I, it doesn't do it if I put it on. Only if I take it off. So that's number four. One, two, three, four. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, how, how's that going to how, how am I going to activate it with that sound? You, you probably would take an armor, armor stand. And a dispenser. All right. So let's go at the fifth one. And all right. Yep. Yeah, so if you, so the fifth one, it's not taking it off. It's putting it on. It sets the fifth one off. I don't know what the sixth and seventh one sounds are. Let me uh, check the volume real quick. All right. Let's let me Google it and see. Redstone power for uh shoot <laughs> calibrate it there you go redstone levels for calibrated skulk sensor uh what is the range of calibrated skulk sensors um 16 blocks away um Wish it would give me a list of all the different sounds. Like, what do you use? Um, I'm looking. I'm reading. I 
guess I um okay so it says block broken is 16 block placed is 15 block breaking is 14 the 13th one oh wait a minute that's not right shoot yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on this. I can't understand how they have this written up. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to read up on this. Sorry about that, guys. But that's, that's the general idea. So as long... I mean, for different sounds in the game, will trigger uh, the distance from the... Uh, from 0 to uh, 15. And... Uh, watch this again. So if we go all... I think it's like 16 blocks away from the actual so we'll get a little closer there we go that's about 16 blocks away if I go back yeah see it doesn't light up oh see the blocks breaking yeah if I go further back there's no snow over here <laughs> you get the point <laughs> um, I'll read up more on this too because I think you have to place these on um, I can go back to the ancient city and get more of these too but uh, or the deep dark yeah you can get these in the deep dark too um, and then you can actually set them off in a distance so it's like instead of having redstone chained like that it's like a Wi-Fi signal, a radio signal that activates a redstone charge in a distance. So my idea is if I had a clock, right, it's a big giant square and each little square would have, I don't know, nine redstone lamps. And instead of me making a like a belt of uh, redstone blocks going around activating the lights, I can just activate a sound and uh, remotely light each individual hour of the clock by a sound using these. So I'm going to leave it here for now, guys, because uh, I'm it's kind of late, and uh, I got to get out and do my Uber stuff. So let me take my helmet off. Let me find you guys. There hasn't been any new members or anything, so I can't introduce anybody. But uh, you guys, more than welcome. If you're new, please subscribe, man. I got plenty of uh, slots open for you guys. Um, let me get over here to my uh, raid button. I gotta wait for it to come up. I didn't have it activated. All right, and my man um, Forzen's usually on at this time of day. Wow. Yep, there he is. He's playing Reveal or Reveal. Looks pretty good. We'll be in uh, his room in about 10 seconds, so say hi to Forzen for me. We'll be back on Wednesday, and we'll pick up here where we left off. We're going to continue putting snow on this blimp, decorating uh, the smelter room and all of that good stuff. You guys have a great Monday, and I will see you Wednesday.